All right, so the next uh, type of preference assessment that you're going to be looking at is called MSWO, or Multiple Stimulus Without Replacement. In this particular type of preference assessment, what you're going to be seeing is you're going to see a few items being presented you know, in front of the child. And uh, basically, the behavior technician is going to say, pick one. Okay. Now, the concept behind that is that the child is going to be gravitating or picking the item that is higher value. Okay, so And that's going to allow us to start now creating a set uh, of ranks in regards to what items have the most particular reinforcing value for the client or the child. And um, one of the things that you're going to be looking at is when the child picks an item, it's not going to be replaced in this particular method. All right? So let's say we start with five and the child picks one of the items. The next trial is going to be four, four items. And then they pick another item, it's going to say three. So you're going to have three items, less and less items as you kind of go through the trials. Okay? So that's one thing that I really want you to look at and you're going to have some questions about this during your knowledge check. Okay, and also uh, another thing that was is not mentioned in the video is the fact that you need to sample these items before you start presenting to the child. Um, sampling is so crucial when you're doing MSWO or basically any type of preference assessment. You want to make sure that the items that you're going to present to the child actually have value. Okay, and what I mean by sample is giving them a taste of whatever item you're going to you know present to them. If it's like a Cheeto, for instance, you want to get them a, a bite of a Cheeto or an M and M, whatever it is that you're using. If it's uh, toys. You want them to play with the toy for a few seconds before you start running the preference assessment. So I highly recommend for you to do a sampling before you start, um, you know, presenting uh, the preference assessment method the way that you're going to see it right now in the video. Okay.